history here in Bush Stadium. Albert Pujols is on the mound. One of the greatest right-handed hitters of all time making his first ever pitching appearance. In a 15-2 game, it brought the crowd, as large as it still is, to its feet, a standing ovation. Even the Giants. The Giants, too, as Albert has never done this in his Major League career. Reminded by Ed Safita, we now have a pitcher on the mound who has more homers than Otani by a lot. And he walked the first guy that he saw, Darren Ruff. Wow. Greg Gibson squeezing him right there with that last one. That's <laughs> right. Wonder whose idea this was in the dugout. Was it Alberts? Was it Ali Marmoles? Was it Wainwright and Molina? But the Giants, let's let's get up there and hack too here. We're gonna, we're gonna build up the number of pitchers on Albert's arm. There you go. going to go foul. This falls right into the category that our buddy Tim Kirkshin always likes to say. You go to the ballpark and you never know what you might see. There's no way you're going to the ballpark today thinking I'm going to see Albert Pujols pitching in a major league game. Albert's first out recorded by Harrison Bader. MLB.tv, 50% off for a limited time only. Stream out of market regular season games live or on demand, plus MLB big inning and select pregame and postgame coverage. Visit MLB.tv for details. Albert finally got it. He took about 10 miles an hour off that last pitch. That's what you have to do. 54 instead of 64. There it is. <laughs> Get some arc on it. How's the form, Connie? Better now. He's settling in. <laughs> now it's got some drop. It's called gravity. Gravity's your friend here. You no, know, Evan Longoria hooks one into left, so Albert gives up his first hit. We need a strikeout. Right? We gotta have a strikeout. Hey! That's gotta be hey! on the Hall of Fame resume. Gloria having some fun with Albert on that one. He wants the ball. That's true. <laughs> I that. love it. <laughs> How about Evan and Gloria asking for the baseball right there? I love it. Who else was doing a lot of hand gesturing in the dugout? Once, I think, to suggest he wanted to stay in as the DH. This also a chance he was telling Marmol, I want a pitch. <laughs> 2 and 0 from number five, just outside. Three balls, no strikes. Last thing Ollie Marmol wants is the bullpen to start. Here we go. Double play ball will end it. They'll flip. They'll throw. Safe. Albert was ready to celebrate. He was ready with a <laughs> fist pump. <laughs> On Al Roboski's birthday, Albert Pools was trying to do a little bit of the mad Hungarian out there to finish out the game. Well, here we go. I mean, how good is this? So Luis Gonzalez, who came in to pitch as a position player, now comes to the plate to face Albert Pools. Who's going to break it to Albert that he doesn't get a save for this? <laughs> oh, good one there. On the corner at 62. Holly Marmol may have found a secret weapon. Ball. <laughs> oh. oh. Tried a little bit of the Gonzalez special. Nice. He's in the 40s. Sub 50. If you want to throw slower, the key is to land first. Land, and then your arm comes through. Ball up. The 
Again, Albert Pujols on the mound for the Cardinals in a 15-2 game in the ninth. He's got two outs. Look out. Gonzalez to right. Albert looking at it. So is everyone else. Albert's given up a homer. Now he knows what it feels like to be on the other end. But he gave it up to a pitcher. He's got an ERA now. So Gonzalez is in the game as a pitcher. He joins Otani as the only pitcher this year to homer. We got to get Tim Kirchin in on this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, Coney, it was a bit of a hanger. <laughs> yeah. Got to get the spin rate on this. Hold on. Thing we're missing is a strikeout. We've got the walk, we've got the hit, we've got the homer. Here we go. That's a drop down. Give him a little Laredo right here. Well, unfortunately, Joey Bart has done this a lot. He goes slow. This one to left. Back at the wall. And it's gone. Joey Bart with two strikes goes deep. Albert's ERA is climbing quickly. At some point, there's going to be gambling involved with baseball. <laughs> you had like, imagine just watching this with an over under of say 17 runs, <laughs> and all of a sudden we're at 21. That's something down the road that's going to be something to think about. Indeed. The crowd is just jonesing for an Albert Pujol strikeout. Lamont Wade. No. This could do it. Albert's got his hand up. There you go. The ERA may be 54, but no one's going to forget what we saw tonight. Certainly, the people that stayed to watch the end witness Albert Pujols with a baseball that he didn't hit as a souvenir. It's one he threw as a pitcher. And good on Ali Marmol and whoever on the Cardinals said, "Let's do this." I I'm all in on that. I love it. I love both. I love the you know. There's some strategy involved. I, you know. You know. I made made my opinion known. Throw slower. Get some arc on it. <laughs> Everybody's laughing. Everybody's having a good time. Mike Maddox enjoying it as well. What a great night. I mean, it was a blowout game, 15-6 with 17 hits, but we got a chance to watch Wainwright pitch outstanding. Molina hit. We saw Albert Pujols get some hits and pitch. Coronado and Goldschmidt, a good night all around. If you love the Cardinals. They get the job done to none and win it 15 to 6. Next week, it'll be the White Sox and the Yankees. Sports Center's coming up next Kevin Connors and Michael Eaves. Thanks again to our production crew, all back in Bristol. And Tim Kirkshin down on the field for Eduardo Perez and David Cohen. I'm Carl Ravitch. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sports Center, Kevin and Michael.